Exploring the Intricacies of Cells Good day, everyone. Today, we embark on a journey to explore the fascinating world of cells. Cells are the fundamental units of life, and understanding their structure and function is crucial in the field of biology. Let's dive in. At its core, a cell is the basic structural and functional unit of all living organisms. It's like the building block of life itself. Whether you're a human, a plant, or a microorganism, you're made up of cells. There are two main types of cells, prokaryotic and eukaryotic. Prokaryotic cells, like bacteria, lack a true nucleus and membrane-bound organelles. On the other hand, eukaryotic cells, found in plants, animals, fungi, and protists, have a true nucleus and membrane-bound organelles. Cells have a remarkable structure. They are surrounded by a cell membrane, which acts as a barrier and controls the movement of substances in and out of the cell. Inside, you'll find the nucleus, which contains the cell's genetic material, and various organelles like mitochondria, endoplasmic reticulum, and Golgi apparatus, each with its own specific function. Cells perform a wide range of functions essential for life. These include metabolism, growth, reproduction, response to stimuli, and maintaining homeostasis, or stable internal conditions. In essence, cells keep living organisms alive and functioning. The cell theory, proposed by scientists Schleiden, Schwann, and Virchow, states that all living organisms are composed of cells, cells are the basic unit of structure and function in living organisms. And all cells come from pre-existing cells through cell division. It's a foundational concept in biology. Cell division is how cells reproduce. The two main types of cell division are mitosis and meiosis. Mitosis produces two identical daughter cells, each with the same number of chromosomes as the parent cell, while meiosis produces gametes with half the number of chromosomes for sexual reproduction. Cells are incredibly important. They are responsible for building and repairing tissues, carrying out metabolic processes, transmitting genetic information, maintaining homeostasis, and supporting life processes in organisms. Without cells, life as we know it wouldn't exist. As we conclude our journey through the world of cells, I hope you've gained a deeper appreciation for these remarkable structures. Cells are truly the building blocks of life, and studying them unlocks countless mysteries of the natural world. Now, I'd like to open the floor to any questions you may have. Feel free to ask about anything we've discussed today, or any related topics. Thank you all for joining me today. I hope you found this exploration of cells informative and engaging. If you'd like to learn more, don't hesitate to reach out. Have a great day.